James the Nomic the Fifth, uh, fighting Glory sixty seven Orlando, Florida. Make sure you tune into combat sports coverage. Give them a like. Hey, what's going on? This is Thomas Gal Denzi with Combat Sports Coverage, and on this edition, I'll be interviewing undefeated Glory kickboxer Peter Stenonik over his upcoming Glory kickboxing fight live this Friday night in Orlando, Florida. Or you can catch it on UFC Fight Pass. So Peter, tell me how your overall training camp went leading into this huge kickboxing fight. Um, perfect. Uh, close to it. So my team and I just got a brand new building, right? We've been a team for like six, seven years, something like that. And my coach Bobby Peak was blessed with somebody to, you know, like, hey, y'all putting in the work. Let's, you know, let's further more of this. So we just got a place. We got a brand new place, brand new, brand new facility. It's like brand new bags, brand new ring, brand new everything. And so, I mean, I couldn't. It couldn't be any better. I just moved into a new place with my roommates. So, I mean, it's the mind. If your mind is right, everything else, it just, it just correlates. You know. Yeah, I've been seeing a lot of your social media posts. Uh, so I've been seeing the gym. It looks like a nice, really, really very nice facility. Uh, and, uh, I did not know. Uh, so for everyone that doesn't know, uh, what gym is it called? And every, uh, where can everyone catch it at? We're in Ambush Muay Thai. So the place you're looking at was a temporary spot. The, mm. the, the people we got it from were like, hey, because um, we needed something until the fire marshal past the other place. And she was like, hey, you can just train here. So she let us get there. Matter of fact, I like the warehouse. I like that. I like that. That feeling, you know. There's no AC. If the fan ain't on, you're probably gonna pass out. So bring your life <laughs> alert. Um, but I, I like that feeling. But the new place is just, is off the. But we're in San Antonio, off of Blanco Road, fourteen two one four. Don't quote me. But we're off Blanco Road. You see the big old sign set up and everything. So if you're in San Antonio, you want to learn real Muay Thai, um, come check us out. And speaking of uh, San Antonio, uh, your last fight in glory actually took place in uh, Houston, Texas. I want to talk about that. How did that feel about getting a, a huge win in your uh, in your in your town in your state? Yeah, that, um, so uh, it was it was unbelievable. Um, so like six years ago, you know, I, um, probably a little longer than that, uh, Glory came out right, and and before that, you had kickboxers doing MMA because you have to, right? There's only like what four or five promotions in the states, and, and you gotta know somebody to know somebody to get most cards. So, um, when I found out I can actually kickbox from Glory, that was my goal to get on Glory, right? And then um, I had taken, I was taking MMA fights, you know, I was still kickboxing and stuff. But to to make my Glory debut, my goal, right, was was Glory. It was Glory. It was always Glory. And to get there and fight in front of your home city, you know what I mean? It's, I mean, come on. It's speechless. I, I don't know what to say. It was amazing. It was an amazing feeling. And so, um, uh, it was it was a great overall. It was a great fight. Keenan Diop is a monster. Um, great matchup. It was just a fun fight overall. And so, uh, shit, it couldn't get any better. I was there live at the fight. I thought it was a great fight. Uh, both of you guys put on a great fight. I'm from Houston, Texas, so I, I had to make sure. I saw, exactly, yeah. I had to make sure I saw the fights from Glory. Yeah. And then, uh, so speaking of your upcoming fight here in Orlando, Florida, which will be happening this upcoming Friday, we'll yeah. see you take on Vince McGinnis. And I just want to see, you know, how do you see this fight playing out between you and your opponent? Do you see yourself winning by TKO, knockout, or is this going to be an all-out war? Uh, so. The whole all out war thing is kind of lame. Let's just be honest. My dad was in the military for 30 years. So, like, war, war, it's not really war. It's a fight. It's a fight. We train this every day. So, it's not a war. It's a fight. Two different, totally different things. So, I don't know. It's just another day. It's, it's really another day, but I get paid for it. And that's the way I look at kickboxing. It's fun. MMA is different. It's stressful. Because then you got, you you know, guys are going to take you down. And you got to do all that humping and stuff. I'm, I don't want to do it. But, this fight is a uh, shit. I mean, I don't have any TK. Oh, I do. I do. Actually, I do. Have, I, I cut his eye open, but other than that, I got one shot knockout. I'm, I'm confident in my knockout power. So, um, I see him. I see myself dropping him by the end of the first and knocking him out in the beginning of the second. And if everything does go great for you for this fight, well, what do you typically do for a celebration? Oh uh, shit, Denny's. Go back to my room and come back to my dog. That's it. And get back ready. I mean, get ready for the next one. I mean, you know, celebrate. It's, this is a job. You're a professional fighter. I don't think doctors 
do brain surgery and then go celebrate after. It's their job. It's their job, yo. If I had a kid or something like that, I'd go celebrate. If you know, but it's my job. So I go back. I, I get Denny's. I get you know, I get two four six eight meal. I pay my dad back for the whole camp that he didn't help me because I have no sponsors. I do this all on my own. This is me. It's all me. So that's it. That's really it. It's simple. We just make it. We make it complicated. Yeah. Just getting in and just getting out, getting ready for the next one, basically. Yeah, absolutely. And then tell me, you seem like a very like tall, lean guy and shredded. You know, how do you like? How is that weight cut down to 154 pounds for you? Oh, that's nothing. I, I fought MMA at 45, <laughs> so uh, 55 is is I don't know. It's, it's I, I put a suit on for like 45 minutes. I cut four pounds. I float off to the next day. I put the suit on again. Three pounds. I'm done. Oh, yeah, so that's definitely an easy cut for sure. Oh, yeah, yeah. I walk around, you know, when I'm in shape and I eating pizza and chicken tenders, you know. Uh, I'm about 168, 167. I'm lean and mean, just just ripped up at, at 68. When, I'm eating, when, I'm, when, I'm, when I'm eating the bad stuff, I'm about 77, 78, and I'll keep it right there. You don't need to know any, any other numbers. I'm going to keep it about right there. Okay. Oh, yeah, not bad. I, I definitely <laughs> picture you cutting more weight than that. And then tell me, you know, you did mixed martial arts and you've also done professional kickboxing and Muay Thai. You know, tell me for you, like, what do you think is like the more funner uh, sport? Which one do you oh, like yeah. better? Kickboxing, kickboxing for sure. Um, and why is that? Um, I like the whole you hit me, I hit you back, interrupt. I mean, I don't like the gentleman style where we go back and forth, but I want to see how hard you hit me so it motivates me to hit you hard. In my head, at 154 pounds, I'm the hardest hitter. Period. Dude, I don't. Um, you got some guys. They got glory. Got some top team guys. Um, I'm gonna say about two or three of them don't belong up there. I'm gonna be honest. You check their Instagram. They don't do this every day. They don't do this nonstop. So I think kickboxing is just fun. It's. It's. I'm not gonna say it's easy. I'm not saying it's easy, but it's a lot easier than MMA. So if you've never done MMA, um, you just wouldn't understand. And plus, at 55, those dudes are huge. You know what I mean? Those dudes are huge. I had to fight at 55 in MMA. And, I mean, I still I still want to fight, but I mean, most of the guys are big at 55. So. And plus, the energy output, right? If I cut too much weight at 46, I can't throw. Just, I, can't, I like to throw hard all the time, and I can't do that. It's just not humanly possible. So, kickboxing is where it's at. You got, I get to throw hard for nine minutes. I mean, come on, bro. Exactly. And you don't have to cut as much weight. A lot of these guys that I interview from UFC, and they, they cut down to make 55s from around yeah. 190. And I'm like, that's, yeah, that's 200. Insane. Yeah, I know. And then they want to go fight. I'm like, that's a little extreme. You know, yeah. I, I know but, but, but they can do But in MMA, you can do that. There's breaks in MMA. And I explain this to people. There's always breaks, right? Even when I reset, even if we're just standing, a lot of guys like the shadow box, right? I mean, that's wasting time. It took you four or five seconds. You got your breath back. You took me down or I took you down. I laid on top for about six, seven seconds. I got a break. In kickboxing, there is no break. You go, 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 go. Once you stop, I win. Period. And have you took any of the, uh, maybe any of your mixed martial arts striking techniques into the, you know, the ki- traditional kickboxing? Ooh, that was a good question. Um, look, fighting is simple. Come forward, hit them harder than they hit you. That's it. That's – and this ain't no tough shit for the interview or nothing like that. It's just real. I just, I don't like to use angles. I don't like to do all that extra shit. I don't, the footwork is, is cute, but knockouts are cuter. So come forward, throw hard, and then shit. If God didn't want you to win today, it, 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 you're not going to win. So I can't control nothing else but how hard I hit this man. That's it. And how important is you to keep your undefeated record, keep going, moving forward? I don't give a fuck. <laughs> Look, man, in MMA, I was I was undefeated in MMA too, and and then I'm I'm fighting black belts and brown belts. I don't even do jujitsu. I don't know if my back touches the ground. I'm an alpha. We don't do that. Our back don't touch the ground. So <laughs> I'm calling dudes out in MMA, and they undefeated, and I'm still, you know, I I don't give a shit. I don't care about no record. I, people, I have no more. I have nothing else to prove. Like I. I'm where I want to be. You know, if I lose, I lose to a good guy. I don't give a fuck. I'm just going to come come forward and throw hard. That's it. It's simple. If I lose, I lose. It happens. But I'm going to come back to the next one and just fight again. And so speaking of the MMA part with it, so you don't you don't train anymore in mixed martial arts or grappling or anything? Is it mainly or is it always just stand-up? Well, I mean, I got teammates that need help. And so, like, um, 
Absolutely. Yeah, like uh, my circle's small. Like if you can get any smaller than that emoji on, on the iPhone, <laughs> it, it'd be smaller than that. But I still help them if they need a body, right? Um, That's cool. Uh, Marcel Mickens, look out for him. He's coming up two and a forty five er. That that dude is the future of the featherweights. Look out, listen to his name. When he speak, you listen. Period. And uh, have you, when are you coming into uh, Orlando for the fights? Oh, I'm coming in uh, July second. Um, we're gonna fly in. My coach already got a rental car. We got the room and all that. I've never been to Florida. Uh, I'm single, ready to mingle, and I love Pringles. <laughs> So I'm, I'm finna come down to Florida, try to find me a, a stepmama. You know, try to see they got good credit. I mean, I gotta give me a stepmama. I ain't glory don't pay enough yet. So <laughs> yeah, but yeah I mean, shit, it's, it's it's gonna be a good time. I'm with my coaches. As long as you look, you get to travel to another place with your teammates and your friends, people you're close with. It's absolutely automatically a good time. Period. So I'm excited. I'm. Look, I'm ready for the next one. I, I want to knock Vince out, and then I want to knock Jay Ho out. He shouldn't be up there. And Jay Ho should not be on the top ten. And who is that again? Jay Ho. He a ho. Oh. He shouldn't be on top ten. I want him next. Is that, I was about to say, is that who you want next? If you, if That's you who I want victory? next. If they go to L.A., they, we go to Colorado to his place. We can fight in his mama's house, whatever. I want him next. Uh, and, and then I should be ranked after that, and then I'm chasing a belt. Whoever next. Anyone in 55, even if you're friends with me on Facebook, I want to fight you. Yeah, no, you definitely have a good, good enough record, especially after you – I believe you're going to get a great win on this Friday night coming up. So I think it's just going to give you even more momentum. And it's always good yeah. to have someone to call out in the ring uh, for your next fight. And then I, I almost, oh, oh, in the ring, on Instagram and Facebook, I do it all. What are you talking about? <laughs> we're here to fight. That's what we're supposed to do. Exactly. And then uh, are you going to be staying around after your fight to watch the other fights and see all those? No, no. no. I got no. If look, if 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 when people say they go out and have fun, they go dance and shit, then you didn't fight. You didn't fight, especially kickboxing. And kickboxing, there's a lot of kicks. You should you should throw a lot of kicks. My feet, my ankles always sort of this big. What am I gonna do like that? Who am I gonna? Who can I entertain like that? I just want to take some motion and get to the room. That's it. That is it. That's because you should fight hard. That's what people pay you to do, right? These people. Regular people, like, they work all day. And some people make $40 to $65 a day. They got to work 10 hours, right? So we're asking people to take a whole day of work to come watch us fight. And then you're going to tell me you got energy to dance and shit after that. And these people are the ones paying your bills. You didn't fight them, my G. You should go play volleyball. That's what you should do. You, you know what I mean? It's, it's just not fair. So, no, I don't. Mm -mm. I, and to be honest with you, I don't give a damn. I just don't care. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then, uh, do you have like uh, uh, for these upcoming UFC fights uh, following next week and uh, the day after your guys from mm -hmm. Glory Kickboxing? I want to get your picks for the UFC main event, UFC two thirty nine. Mm -hmm. We'll see John Jones taking on uh, uh, Santos, and, and we'll see uh, Holly Holm versus Amanda Nunez. I want to get your picks for those UFC title fights. Uh, so John Jones is the best fighter that's ever. I mean, look, it's fighting. We're, we're talking about fighting, not kickboxing or boxing. We're talking about the sport of fighting. John Jones is the best. He's undefeated. Matt Hamill can he he can have that win, but he didn't win that fight. So no, John Jones will never be touched. No, who's gonna touch John Jones? Agreed, agreed. Especially at two hundred five. Come on, bro. And then when he goes to heavyweight, I don't see anyone touching him there. And then what about, the and then what about a man in Nunez versus Holly Holmes? Oh, I like. Okay, so Holly Holm has such a point. She has, like, she doesn't throw with um, commitment, right? She throws this one combination she throws all the time. She goes the 2-5-2, two, two, right? And she never throws it with bad intentions. She might throw the head kick and it knocks people out because she throws it because it's, it's like a bat on your leg. But Amanda Nunes, she throws like Randy Johnson, my guy. I'm trying to watch her uh, obliterate do you see what she did to Cyborg? Yeah, that that was crazy. She, I mean, she she she's the baddest female in the world. <laughs> like she made Jermaine, and Cyborg made uh, Jermaine not want to fight, and then she got her ass whipped by Nunez. So come on, that's not even close. Holly Holmes is great; she's a great athlete, but she ain't winning that fight. I agree on those. I agree on your definitely on those picks. They're definitely going to be great fights to be watching. Absolutely. And then I want to see: Do you have any other hobbies outside of training and fighting? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'll show you. This. This.
This is my booger. This is Diamond. Nice. Yeah, she's my hobby. For- I like to train and um play with my dog. So, yeah, there's no... Like, my dad, uh, he was in the military for, like, 28, 29 years active duty. And uh, while he was in the military, he, was, he worked for Domino's. He was a delivery driver at Domino's. He also got uh, employee of the month at Domino's. Same time, all three, right, uh, he was a substitute teacher. He's retired now, owns houses, and still works, like, 60 hours a week. So, no, a hobby is work. Yeah, that's my hobby. I like to work. That's great, yeah. yeah. Definitely installed yeah. a great work ethic in you, it seems like. That's why you probably have had such a successful career so far going forward that's and you'll it. keep having. And that's why you can put on these amazing fights that you've been putting inside the ring and all this hard work that we've been seeing. And then yes, do you sir. have any uh, last words to your opponent? Uh, just please don't get hurt. Show up. I mean, that's it. I mean, keep your hands low. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. yeah. Don't check no kicks. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Yeah. No, definitely don't check anything. <laughs> and then, uh, do you have any other last or any last words? Any special shout outs? Any sponsors? Or we can tell everybody to find you out on Instagram. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm um, my sponsors. I gotta thank um, what's his name? Me. <laughs> um, my coach Bobby Pete. Uh, my teammates Mike Benzilla, uh, Marcel Mickens. They, they already know who they are. Ambush Muay Thai all day, every day. Uh, shout out to uh, Ambush in Austin. You hear me? Um, I love my dad. And that's about it. Well, that's awesome. And then everyone definitely needs to be checking out um, Peter Sant... Sant- How do you say that? <laughs> I was like, I'm about to murder it. <laughs> you tried. Yeah, sorry about that. Yeah, Peter Spinoza. Yeah, look me up on Instagram. You can find me on uh, Instagram, underscore V, underscore... Uh, 5th that's V 5th so just hit me up um, yeah that's it <laughs> and then thank you again for giving me some of your time and coming on and, the interview. and everyone definitely needs to be checking out UFC Fight Pass for your uh, amazing glory kickboxing fight live this Friday night thank you brother